looking at the many, many paths I could have taken, um, I thought about what do I have the most fun doing and what kind of brings them all together, and that's food. I mean, food tends to just, you can't, whether it's different races, different people, food brings people together. Um, you know, it could, they can hate each other, they can love each other. When my grandma used to make a plate for my cousins, no matter what, how dicey the situation was there, they sat down, and it wasn't even the fact that we were all afraid of my grandmama. <laughs> um, it was the food. Food tends to have an effect that changes um, attitudes. You know, even the kids that walk around here saying that they hate life. One thing everybody can agree on, agree on is food is awesome. I think college offers a lot of opportunities post high school and I think just for me like my career aspirations and kind of my goals for after high school I felt like college was a necessary path that I had to embark upon. I chose this path because it's a safe path and then it's you can be a very successful path. Um, it's safe because I don't have to go into debt to get into college. I'll get paid through it and then also I come out of my college with a guaranteed job. So. I feel like that's just very safe and secure. I chose this pathway to join the Marines because I wanted to do something with my life and I wanted to be different and that seemed like the right path choice for me. I chose the path of education because I love children and I want to be able to shape them into someone I think they can be at the age of which I'm teaching them. Getting into my path, I don't want to say it's easy because it's not but it's more simple than you think it is. Um, but it also, it takes more work if you wanna be successful in the path. Getting into it and getting the techniques from it and being successful are two different things. I think for me, the process started really, I guess the beginning of junior year, I started looking at schools, researching the college admissions process and what it kind of took to be a competitive applicant in a college admissions process. And then there's kind of the standard, you know, you have to take your standardized test. So pretty much end of junior year, beginning of senior year, I covered all the bases with the standardized testing. And then basically from the summer before my senior year to about December um, of my senior year, I was working on my applications, writing all my essays, and then finally getting those final touches put on there and officially applying by about January 1st, January 2nd. To be accepted, um, you have to first apply, which is completely free, but um, there's many different companies that you go to. You have to take these uh, tests from CPCC, which is a college in Charlotte, and um, then they have to invite you to their, to their orientation. So you, that's like a week-long process where they just see how well you're doing in the environment, and then they teach you some things, they do even more testing, then after that, you get invited to another internship, which will be throughout the whole entire summer, which is where you really learn more about what their company is, exactly what they're doing, and um, you do take a few classes, and you're getting paid like 10 an hour while you're doing this internship, so it's a paid internship. And then at the end of that, they'll s decide if you're um, going to come back for the apprenticeship or not. The process is going to talk to your recruiter, figuring out actually what branch you want to join, and then there's another process to where you go to MEPS, and that's where you take a physical test and the actual ASVAP. The process of being accepted into this path was applying to many different colleges that I was interested in and waiting to see which colleges I'll be accepted into and deciding which one would be best for my major and where I would feel comfortable at, and that's why I've chosen Coastal Carolina University. The most recent thing I applied to was um, the CIA, not the government agency, <laughs> um, the Culinary Institute of America, and um, someone, I'm not sure if I was sent there by recommendation. I'm not sure if they were just keeping tabs on me, but they sent me a letter. They waived their application fee. Um, the biggest cost was time, but I mean, time is always being taken away from us. I mean, it's better for that cost to go towards something that's beneficial to your future. But um, there was no cost. I was just blessed. I was amazed. I was surprised. So there were actually a lot more costs than I thought there were going to be um, with applying. So really, if you tally everything up, it's kind of insane how much you have to pay to apply to schools, but because you have to pay to take standardized testing, you have to pay to send those standardized tests to the different schools that you're applying to, you have to pay to apply to the school, and that's normally somewhere between 50 to $80, kind of ballpark range. 
and then you even have to apply to send your financial stuff in. So there was a lot of costs associated with applying to college. Applying for this is completely free, and in fact, you're, if you get accepted, you're going to make a lot of money. There are no costs to applying, but it does take a lot of physical training and stuff. When applying, I had to pay an application fee, enrollment fee, fee for housing, my meal plan, and I also had to pay a fee for orientation. Because of all the extracurricular activities, Lord knows there's a long list of those um, I've done around here. There's a scholarship I'm applying for. Um, that's a thousand. There are a couple more that I've applied for, and um, a lot of them have to do with between gospel choir, YCI things I've done, and also uh, a big one is I have a deceased parent. And so um, getting a deceased parent scholarship, that's taken out. I think at least half of my tuition. So, um, yeah, that's it's more I'm being paid because of my work and circumstances. For undergrad, I'm going to try to get as much financial aid as possible, and then my parents are going to help me out with the rest of undergrad to a point, and then grad school I'll be paying by myself. They will be paying me for my secondary education um, during the time of the apprenticeship. Uh, it's projected that you make about $160,000 while in school getting paid and then also working for them at the same time, so getting experience on the job while learning to ha how to do your job. We aren't paying anything, but during boot camp and MCT and that whole learning process, they are paying us, but we actually do have to get money taken out of our checks for uniforms and stuff. The application, the most recent application, was to CIA, but the application process I started originally was Triton. And I actually started that um, a little over a year ago. Um, it was with my dad, so when he passed, it was all of a sudden, and it set me back, and I just I didn't want to finish it. So um, I didn't really start back applying again until this year, and it was a little late, yes, but um, luckily I was blessed someone had my back out there. Um, the other hardest thing are the nerves. Senioritis tends to come at you and it bites, bites hard. So um, once you get past the nerves and any, any other baggage, I mean, everyone has their own situations at home. Once you get past all that, the, it, I mean, it's nothing I've been through in high school. <laughs> so, I mean, um, the hardest part would probably be just getting past my situations and going forward instead of looking back. My most unexpected encounter was probably the time that it took to apply. I knew it was gonna be a big investment, but really to get all my applications in, and I ended up applying to about eight schools, it took about six months for me to write all, just writing the essays took about six months. So definitely applying was a bigger time investment than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't set the application process to be so lengthy. It uh, can take over the course of a year. So I did it in my senior year. And um, I, right before the school year started, I started um, during the summer, touring the companies, see which ones I was most interested in. And then it didn't come until the next January, February, that I actually applied. And then in March, I went for the orientation, and we'll see if I get the um, internship over the summer. Going through MEPS, I didn't expect it to be that time-consuming and long. It was a very long process. I didn't expect it to be as in-depth as it was, but it was through the whole time, it was actually pretty easy. There wasn't really anything I encountered that I wasn't expecting because my brother just applied to college, so I kind of knew what the process was like, but some of the fees were more expensive than I thought they would be, and some of the applications were a lot longer than I thought they would be. The biggest challenge, people, <laughs> all the way, um, because Something I've had to learn, thank God I work in Kids Men, um, that's the ministry of Kids Church in my, um, at my church. Um, being there taught me how to work with different people, different little ones, um, especially the fact that they don't know when to stop throwing tantrums. Um, and the hardest thing was in Clone Arts 1 through, no, I take it back, Clone Arts 2 through 3, um, I was at Fort Mill High, and their dynamic over there is completely different than ours. 
And so um, it took a minute to me getting adjusted with them in the kitchen because they are so, ironically, they're more messy than me. If you saw my book bag, you'd probably like have me checked out. But they, they're they still messy in the kitchen and it took some work um, est- establishing some boundaries, establishing um, how we need to work together. Because if not for that, um, I don't think I could have continued. And without those classes, I don't think I could have been um, noticed and gotten the opportunities that I have now. I think the biggest challenge with um, kind of obtaining my goal and kind of getting into the universities that I was hoping to get into was probably just kind of the amount of time that it took because really if you look at the college admissions process it starts with taking your standardized test so I did a bunch of prep for standardized testing and making sure that I was in the score range that I felt like I needed to be in to be a competitive applicant but then after that it became how do I market myself and how do I make my application in a way that makes me seem again like a competitive applicant so it really is a lot of just putting a lot of time and investment into that application process and making sure that you're kind of putting your best foot forward and showing yourself in the best light. It's definitely getting the accepted part. Um, there's a lot of competition that goes into this. Uh, where I went for Siemens and Groninger, there were about 20 people from varying backgrounds from all around Charlotte, some college students. that You can still do this if you're in college or you've graduated. Then there was juniors and seniors and people that have almost already been accepted before coming back again to try. So it's a lot of competition and that's the biggest challenge here, is overcoming that. A really big challenge for me was keeping my grades up and trying to have better grades my high school years than like previously and waiting to see if I got accepted or not. Next year, I can tell, it's gonna be adventure exploration. I mean, um, I'm really excited. I'm really hoping I get into the CIA. Um, they have molecular gastronomy, which is basically like that's, there's the science behind foods on like how the meat solidifies, but then there's the science behind foods where you're turning a piece of, you're turning vanilla into a bead and you can like throw it at each other and eat it. I'm excited for that. I mean, um, I'm excited how these things grow. I'm excited to, um, feed people. Um, I'm hoping one day that I can get to the point next year from what I learned that I can go out and help homeless people. I'm hoping for adventure. I would say I'm most excited just, you know, I've lived in Fort Mill all my life, so kind of getting away to a new place and meeting new people, I think it's just a really exciting kind of adventure. I'm excited to try it again because it's um, definitely a good path and something that I want to do. I'm most excited about going to boot camp and, you know, becoming a new person and being better than who I am. I'm very excited to just branch off from what I'm used to here and meet so many new people and experience so many new things.